Women are to be given clearer information about the benefits and risks of breast screening. An independent panel of experts has concluded that routine screening saves lives, but also leads to unnecessary treatment for cancers that would otherwise have remained relatively harmless. For every life saved, three women are overdiagnosed. Here's our science reporter, Asha Tanner. There's no doubt breast cancer screening saves lives. For Christine Davidson, she's now fit and healthy 11 years on after she had her lump removed and radiotherapy. I would say that screening potentially saved my life because if I had waited another few years before I went back and the lump was larger, it may have gone into more parts of the body that um, meant that I, I would have died. But today, an independent panel of experts acknowledge that screening can also cause more damage than previously recognised because women go on to have unnecessary treatment after being overdiagnosed, a term one doctor believes patients find confusing. Patients who have an overdiagnosed cancer do have breast cancer. It's just that it's been diagnosed at such an early stage that it's unlikely to trouble them during their lifetime. And therefore, I think the onus is on us as clinicians to try and minimise our treatment for those patients. So rather than talking about overdiagnosis, I would prefer to talk about minimising overtreatment. Now the government want women to be better informed and is revising information about the pros and cons of treatment so they can make an informed choice, a move supported by cancer charities. Certainly a possibility that some women will decide uh, not to go for screening, but if that decision has been taken um, in full knowledge of the, the harms and benefits of screening, then that is not necessarily a bad thing. It is the individual woman's choice. Around 1,300 lives are saved every day through screening for women aged between 50 to 70. But 4,000 go on to have surgery, radiotherapy and chemotherapy for cancer, which may never have been fatal. Ductal carcinoma in situ, DCIS, is the most common non-invasive breast cancer detected from screening. It's a malignant tumour found in the ducts of breast tissue. Now, although the cells have the appearance of malignancy, they are not life-threatening in themselves. Only if these malignant cells begin to grow outside of the ducts will they develop into invasive cancer in the supportive breast tissue. But whether the cells will definitely progress to an invasive cancer within a woman's lifetime is something today science cannot predict. The progression of cancerous tumours will depend on the age of a woman, her life expectancy at the time of diagnosis, as well as hormonal exposure and obesity. One psychiatrist believes women want honest and transparent advice. In order to tackle uh, the, the fear of the diagnosis, what, what women uh, want from their GPs, as they want from their breast surgeons, their radiologists, uh, are doctors who prepare to be open with them about if they've, had, if they've had a test, the likelihood of it being a cancer, and to be uh, empathic and caring as they take them through the decision-making process. Despite the shortcomings of overdiagnosis being highlighted, experts insist regular screenings are important, but there are more options available to women than they first thought. Well, joining me now is England's National Cancer Director, or Cancer Czar, Professor Sir Mike Richards. And your advice to women is still to go for screening. Well, I welcome the findings of this independent review uh, and the review recommended that screening should continue and it also recommended that we should be giving more information. So, yes, provided people get the information, I would still recommend them to go to screening. Are you sure you're not just confusing people? You're saying, go for this, but here's a load of information as to why it might be bad for you. Well, we are trying to give balanced information. We are setting out very clearly that breast screening does save lives. Uh, and that's important, because some people have challenged that. But this review concludes that we do save lives, about 1,300 lives a year. It also says there is this risk of so-called overdiagnosis, and I believe it is right that we have to give that balanced information to the public. What do you want less of, though? I mean, is, is it that once, once something is found in the screening process, you want yeah. less intervention? You want fewer operations? Well, I, I agree with Dr McNeil in that package that you showed, who said that when we find tumours that are at the least aggressive end of the spectrum, we should minimise the treatment, and that's what we do try to do. But you're also telling women that you don't know if that tumour might then become very aggressive? Well, 
we can remove the tumour, but at that stage, it is very unlikely that a patient would need either chemotherapy or hormonal therapy. So we can minimise the, the treatment that they need, having removed the tumour. Is it, is it a, is it a decision you would criticise for a woman to say, I don't want to go for screening? Provided that people have had the information and been able to make an informed choice, that is absolutely right for some people. Most people, we believe, will still want to who, go for Who screening. is it right for? It's who right would for be right somebody... not to be screened? Well, that is a personal choice. I have dealt with patients who have told me they would prefer not to have known. That's fine. So we must give them balanced information. But that's, a, that, that's individual variation. So you're, you're not able to sort of give a, a, a series of parameters that says, if you fall into this category, don't go for screening? No, no, it's, it's much more a, a personal choice, and it's got to be for them to, to say, and most people... And, and primarily about whether you want to know, is what yeah, you're saying. That, that's absolutely right. And so what should doctors do? So, I mean, GP, family doctors. Well, I hope GPs will look at this uh, report and will say, yes, now we can say to our patients, here, here is the balance. The balance is, it may well save your life, on the other side, um, there are, is the risk that you can be found to have a cancer that would not have caused you trouble. That's what we want people to be able to present to women so that they can make choices. But as you will know, um, most of the charities, I think all of the charities today, have come out saying they would still recommend people to go for screen. Sir Mike Richards, thank you very much.